In this video, we're going to look at adding the concept art section, so looking at images for the video. Now, what you can do is a very simple method. If you double click on the images that you want to include, you can just drag them right in. And by default, they will do the normal length of this. You might want to make them slightly longer. Uh, let's double click on this one, drag it in. Hopefully, the workflow of dragging in images is quite simple and straightforward for you now. And you'll see that those images are stationary. They just stay still at the minute. Now, that's fine. You can have still images in there to show off your work, but it might be a good idea to animate those a little bit and make them move on the screen. Now, to do that, you click on the first image, come to Effects Control, and straight away, you need to make it larger. So if I go on Scale and bring that up, Let's zoom right in so we can kind of see a bit of the detail. Okay. And uh, if I click on the motion, I can move this around and pick the bits that I want to sort of show off. So let's say if I want to kind of show off this and it to scroll across like that, maybe that kind of movement. Um, let's start it right here. So not too far, so we'll have the black on there, but just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to actually animate it so when this moves over, when, when we move this time slider over, it's going to move. So you can see that it's actually up here as well. This is like just the time slider for that part of the image. So if I move this to the start, okay, we're going to click the little uh, position and scale stopwatches. Okay, and what it does is it creates keyframes. So you notice that in my previous videos, we did that by mistake, but now we actually want to have a look at this. So that's what we're doing is we're saying, right, I want you to animate the position and the scale. So at the start, I want it to start here. And by the end of that, so before it moves on to the next one, I want it to move. So with these on blue, you can actually um, move these now using motion. So I, move, I want it to end there. And maybe just I want it to get a little bit larger. Okay, so if you you see that because I moved my time thing, my my time selector on the top here, when I move this across now, it gets slightly it moves obviously, and it gets slightly small, slightly larger. So if I were to just play this in the video, you can see that I've got an animated image okay let's do the next one so select it move your slider to the start of the image uh, click the little buttons okay let's make it a bit bigger so we can see and this time um, let's move it so we kind of start at the bottom left and by the end of the image so let's move it across I want it to be all the way up here I'm just moving it down. There you go. And let's have a look. I'm not going to change the scale. So there you go. So we've got a bit of movement. Okay, cool. So what I want you to do is have a go at importing some images and apply some animation to your images so they actually move across the screen and you get a bit of movement okay uh, i'm going to copy and paste this entire entire bit and instead of three modeling i'm going to do concept art i'm going to do that here um, but in the meantime if you have a go at uh, animating your images and then in the next video we'll look at video transitions